Here are some quick tips for Season 19 or Season of the Seraph within Destiny 2. First off, you might have noticed these things called resonant amps that are in your inventory. These are similar to things that we had previously in Destiny 2 during previous Warmind oriented seasons, especially on Mars. What you do with these is you use resonant stems. When you get these, you put four in and it makes a key. Those keys will take you to a location. The name on the resonance amp, once you turn it into a key, will give you a clue of what location it's in. Once you turn these in, you'll get a weapon from them and it also clicks off some triumphs. The absolute easiest ways to get Seraph keys within Destiny 2 is to go to public events, heroic public events specifically. You will get over 250 of those for every one you do. If you go to the EDZ, it's really super easy. They have a ton of them. If you do just two of those, those are enough to open up a chest at the end of a high. So again, I would do those. You obviously can do regular activities, but it's the quickest way to do it. In season 19, they've changed a little bit on how Rahul works. You can actually now turn in your materials that are going away for Glimmer, but you can also turn in your things that you get from the moon that we just get a ton of and never use. So any of those items that you get, you can now turn in for Glimmer. So if you're running low on Glimmer, this is a super, super easy way to get glimmer one of the things that's not clear as you get into season 19 is there's a lot of achievements around doing things within the playlist for heists and the playlists are also where you get the chests where you can get other achievements and weapon drops the way to do this is you actually have to progress the story so if you continue to just go to the location that is first opened up that is not going to help you you need to do the next step in the story mission which requires you to get 500 seraph keys once you do that the playlist will open within the playlist this is another tip that is where you can actually get the chest. So again, same thing as before. If you don't have access to the playlist, you're gonna waste your time trying to get achievements and get other things within the game. So as soon as possible, get that other mission done. When you're in a heist and you're getting towards the boss, one of the things you'll notice at the end is that there's a door and you're like, how do you open this? Well, you have to actually break the seals up. There's five of them. Now it's pretty easy to figure out how to get them initially because on the right and left, you'll see the notation that shows you that there's enemies you kill. When you kill those enemies, you pick up a nut, you bring it to the center. What's not as clear is that the seals kind of blend in a little bit of the wall, but that's what you need to do to open up the boss encounter. So the other thing within this season is that you have to hide from these towers that are trying to look at you constantly. Obviously, if you're on a hunter, you can go invisible really quickly to avoid. One thing you may not know is that you can actually fairly easily go invisible on any hunter subclass. In this case, I actually have a build where I talk about this in a little more detail, but with Assassin's Cow, any melee from a hunter on any subclass will actually allow you to become invisible. If you're working on the silence the alarm triumph, or if you're trying to make the middle part of the heist easier, you'll notice that there is a yellow bar called a death tongue chorister. Kill those as soon as possible once you get into each of these areas, because again, it'll allow you to get the achievement. In addition, it will allow you to make it easier because the totems will not spawn that make this, this activity a little bit more difficult. One thing that stumped me when I first came back to the helm is where is the war mind at? And again, it's not, again, you can look at the map, but I was kind of lost initially. So just to help people out, here's the location of where the war mine is located. The last thing is that the full auto setting is something that's new of season 19. And it's not clear to everyone where you need to. If you go into your gameplay options, the location I'm showing you, that's how you turn it on and off. One thing to note, it does it for all weapons. So it's all or nothing sort of thing. That's one thing to keep in note. That's the video, guys. Hope these tips are helpful. If they were, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you, Guardians of the Tower.